a broken play. Co-host got my dog Reggie Ball in the building. Yes, sir. How you feeling, man? I'm great, man. How you? You feeling great? Yeah, you're real good. Why you feeling great? I'm boy in this thing. Today. Man, you got you got your boy <laughs> in this motherfucker, man. Yeah, my boy. Here. The Georgia, he brought he wore his Georgia Tech uh, gear though. So yeah, we, 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 I got yeah. the gold in here. You know, we blend in. Shout out, shout out to Tech Gasparilla Bowl champs. Uh, yeah, they, they, I don't know what it's about. <laughs> man, we got Lou Young in the building. <laughs> Appreciate it. But about time, man. I've been, you know, I've been trying to get on the show for a long got, time. You got a lot on here, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real shit, man. I'm, I'm like, you know, I see everybody coming through season 20. I mean, I mean season two, <laughs> episode 20. Four bruh, episodes. Bro, look, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. When I see, and I, because I, I, everybody, let's be real. All of us are watching Prime this season. Mm. If I turn and watch a Colorado game and I see you on the field with them niggas, I say, bro, he ain't coming to do <laughs> I really well. It's crazy that <laughs> I had to wait the prime season was over to even think about. Could you come here? Nah, it, but see, they still give me trouble on the sideline too. For real? How this is this, this security though. If one white dude, mm -hmm. if one white, wait, what's dude, his name? We need to know. I don't, man, he just he. It's like the first half, I'm cool. Then he he come back in the second half and be like, I, I'm like, man, I'm I'm here every week. Yeah, every week. Then when I went to the uh, premiere, and they put me on the spot in the, in the uh, in the gym, yes, that he, was dope that was too. Funny. He tried to not let me in. Y'all know I I couldn't get in for twenty minutes. For real? Then I go up there do my thing. I walk back. Now nah, he, he said, fucking with. He said, "Man, you didn't tell me." I said, "Well, see, you didn't let me. <laughs> you didn't let me tell you." I was doing. It feel like you're doing your job. Yeah. How was that atmosphere going out there to Colorado? Seeing seeing what Prime even doing in Colorado? Yeah. And just the atmosphere, like them games, because look, well, you know how it is. We on the East Coast. Them games mm -hmm. were going late because, see, they were late for y'all. Right. It's, I mean, they West Coast. So, you know, uh, the that Pac-12, them West Coast games, Be, bro, it's late, late. We see the score in the morning. Right. But mm -hmm. Prime, we watching, it, bro, 2.30 in the morning. It one game where it went triple overtime. Colorado State. Trip, uh, Colorado State. Yeah. Bro, yeah. we stayed and watched every second yeah. of that. Yeah. I go to uh, House Hope. Shout out to uh, E. Dewey. When that game went that late, I said, "Oh yeah, Dewey ain't gonna make it back." Oh for the oh for the oh, for, oh Dewey, yeah, uh, the preacher, bro. I yeah, was going yeah, yeah. to his church before. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah, line yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Cause like he break it down like yeah, he, Dewey I cool know, man. Nah, he a real nigga. Man. Like, I don't know if you call a preacher a real nigga. Nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, ball. He a real hey, nigga. Dewey, Dewey walk, Dewey walk through like. What's up? What's what's up? Yeah. Okay. Like like yeah. okay. he what might call he might call you a nigga. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh nah with with the prime uh relationship, it was New Year's Eve last year mm -hmm. and, and me and my daughter going to my, my aunt's house. His son was like, Bro, Pops was trying to call you, bro. I was like, What the fuck? Why you ain't come why you ain't been calling me? FaceTime me in the middle of the night. my daughter Lala in the back seat, sleep, and bro, we talked for like at least 10, 12 minutes, yeah. and he was just giving me love, and, and, and he uh, he was like, bro, anytime you, man, you come, your whole family, everybody come through. Mm. Bro, I was crying like a baby. I, I got the phone. I'm talking to my, I'm talking to this, this me and my pops used to TiVo the, the Cowboys, get, like, yeah. run around the house when he high-stepped in zone. You feel me? So sure. I said, what? And then uh, February, took the whole fam out there. Gave us a tour, so I walked through there now. You you would think I'm on the staff. Yeah. Straight up. I walk and then see I, I dress I, when I'm on the field, I got the high socks with the with the black sweats mm -hmm. and my hoodies and everything. But I they started to think I'm when I'm walking and they walking from my day, cause I I'm naturally bow legged. Yeah. So <laughs> I it, didn't know that. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> I add a little extra yeah. with, yeah. with the toes and everything like that. So they it's Yo, it's your boy Nav Green from Broken Play. You know why I'm here, man. Every week, trying to tell y'all to come get this money with prize picks. If you ain't signed up yet, it's even better. Because it's still the same promo code you been could have used for the last 52 weeks. Use the Broken Play promo code. That's B-R-O-K-E-N-P-L-A-Y. Whatever you put up to $100, they matching that. Who you know doing that? And if you do know them, they ain't doing it like this. You can win 25 times your money. It's available in 30 states. We got March Madness coming up. 
Oh, man. So many college basketball, you get into these tournaments, everybody playing hard, everybody playing good defense. We got NBA. It's down to the crunch. Man, Luka, I don't care if they have hit points at 91. Man, take it. Take the more. Take the over. It's like Luka do what he want to do when he out there. Uh, Wimmy Yama, I might be saying his name wrong. Wimmy, if they have his blocks at 15, I like it for 16. Wimmy blocks everything. Man, stop playing. Get on prize picks. But don't take my suggestion because I haven't been successful in the last couple. 53 weeks. But it ain't about me. I'm trying to get you on there so you can get some money. Get on there, man. Use the promo code Broken Play. Tell them Nav Green sent you from Broken Play. It's available in 30 states, man. And if it's not one of your states, drive to that state. Bro, love, man. the first time, like, what was that reaction the first time you did that? And people like, because, bro, I'm saying, like, you know how some people do impersonation? Like, yeah, yeah that's all right. Like, I could tell you really studied because you start walking. I think that nigga done start walk, trying to walk like you now. <laughs> so I asked him, first of all, uh -huh. when I went to the, you're talking about the premiere. No, no, no. Before, you was In doing general. it before that. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I before you doing the yeah, gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the I'm yeah. athlete oh, so. and then, yeah. right, and all that. So I did that and then when I went to the first game, uh -huh. uh, he just, I'm, I'm just sitting in the uh, the meeting room. I'm just chilling. I'm thinking, you know, I'm just, I'm just they had uh, the night, Friday night, you know, that's like team, you have your team meetings, you put the film up, get your little highlight, get geeked up, and everybody go to sleep and everything like that. But he was like, he saw me, he said, hey man, go ahead and do your thing in front of the team. <laughs> yeah. I was chill, I had my hat like this. I really wasn't trying to be saying, I mean, and he say, go ahead and do it. And I did it, boom. They, you know, they hyped. But then when he when when I went to the premiere, that was crazy because it was it was probably for us in the stands. Mm -hmm. On the stack, like I'm talking about, when I'm talking about that, I mean, yeah. oh, I know, yeah. yeah. So, it, I, in Colorado, we know. right? Yeah, we know, right? right. <laughs> Even the whole team, when, when I tell you, it it looked like that the paint, this, this <laughs> the color. If you room. if you look at like look around, and I first thing I asked them, I said, Are they gonna play some music, and they said, oh yeah yeah yeah, and then from there it was just like, I get I get <laughs> I'm them, in that mode, I get yeah. them hands, <laughs> yeah. It's, yo, it, you know what I mean. So it's just, but I was that was I was nervous as hell for that one, mm. but just because I didn't know what to say, mm -hmm. and I just told him, look, I'm gonna say a few things, and then when I hit him with that, I believe that you come up. With, we ain't rehearsed none of that. You, you would think it was rehearsed. Yeah. So it's it's he and he showed love. For sure. I'm talking about love. Like he put he put me on. Like. Hey, yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I, I, he don't, he don't have to do that. Yeah. I ain't no recruit. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. He don't have to do that. I'm, man, I'm 32 years old. I ain't trying to play football no more. But that man but making it. You got to think about it, though. Like, like, say for instance, I'm going to say this. Like, you know how some people, like, if they don't, because granted, football was your dream. Yeah. So it's like you don't make it at that. But like, seeing your, your reach. At what you're doing now, being an influencer, being a comedian, mm -hmm. being like, you got more access than this world that you ever would have got access playing football. Yeah, once I took my helmet off, that's when I started getting more, that's when I really started getting recognized. Like, when I had that helmet on, trying to really be, like, make all these teams, that shit got stressful, but it's like, I get more love. It's like, folks know me more now. I, people I never played with or played against. Mm -hmm. I'm in I'm in every locker room. Pause. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But West up. But but you feel me saying? Like literally every like folks, my boys be hitting me up like, bro, you ain't gonna believe it, man. Then bro, these niggas show me your stuff. Yeah. I'm like, bro, this, I, this my nigga. I can call him right now. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm there FaceTime, like, man, Lou, man, I told a nigga I Yeah. Oh, basketball, like, people don't know I'm I I was a dual sport athlete. Yeah, I saw you put a highlight of uh, uh, highlight of you playing basketball. I don't even put the football highlights up. That's bad. Like my 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 love is basketball. For real? Yeah, man. Nigga, I really, you were destined to do something. I I really I, I was a problem on the basketball court. Damn, man. What's I, your game like, basketball? I'm D Rose with no hops. <laughs> How no, they I, go together? I saw you here. Go, go to the cup though. I can see what you saying. You would go to the you cup. You know, I ain't even watching the highlight. I ain't gonna lie to you. But how that go? D Rose with no hops. Okay, you see D Rose play. He jumped out of the gym. 
Yeah. Me, I'm 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 surface level. I ain't gonna dunk on you, but I'm gonna hit that floater. Yeah, gotcha. I'm big bodying you. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Get out of the way. I'm I'm a bully with skill. Like a lot of football players think they can really oh, play bully, basketball. Yeah. Hacker shacks. Great defenders. Yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> really? Anytime no. you hear somebody right, oh, I play defense. Oh, he's going to foul. I mean, you might get hurt. No skill yeah. whatsoever. So those guys, I don't even like to, I, I, you know what? I, Draymond I, a football player. Absolutely. And, and, but not really, though. See, Draymond, I, I like Draymond. But I always tell people, Draymond, one of them bullies, he going to bully everybody. But he know who he going to bully. Facts. Before the game start. Right. Like. I saw a clip where he was uh he ran into uh but the Ron Artest. Ron Artest. Yeah, but, but look, he didn't run into Ron Artest. You ran into Metal World Peace and then wasn't no smoke. Imagine if you ran into Ron Artest. Over with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, two different people. Yeah. Ten so games, if you yeah. if you ain't want no smoke with Metal World Peace, that nigga peaceful now. Yeah, you definitely didn't want no you smoke ain't want with Ron Artest. No, 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 no. Not, not Chicago Ron Artest. Not no Ron Artest. Indiana Pacers. Indiana, yeah. like, we talking about Indiana Pacers Ron yeah. Artest. Nah. Bro. You know when I knew Ron Artest was different though? When he laid on the uh the table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said he don't give a fuck what happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's like a nigga yeah. turning his back when a fight going like you don't care what they do to you. Like, but it's it's something that gonna make you snap. Yeah. When you lay on the score, it's like somebody could have elbow dropped you. Bro. Do y'all know where y'all was at when y'all watched when that when that was? Yeah. I was at yeah, home. At I, I wanna say I, I saw that live. I was watching I was watch literally at my mom, at my mom house, in the in the uh, in the living room, uh-huh. sit glue. I'm like, and you know, at the time, I think that's, I think, I want to say, wrestling was still yeah, live. Yeah. Then. So I used oh, to yeah. flick back and forth. Uh-huh. I ain't need, I ain't need to go back to the wrestling. Nigga, that was one of the best, the best sporting fights you could see at the time. Like you know, granted. It it went further than I thought it was gonna go. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot yeah, of suspense. Yeah. I hate them boys got suspended like that. But sometimes you need that kind of action. Yeah. Cause I know the foot the basketball rings went up after Hell that. Yeah. You know how much money they probably made out there? Yeah, yeah. Nigga, they, they got a documentary. They named it. Malice in the Palace. They got a documentary. You don't name the shit if you were offended yeah. by it. Exactly. Like the- Nigga, you needed that at the time. Uh, hey, it was entertaining. I loved it. I loved every bit of it. I loved talking about it. Yeah. And it's still bringing notoriety to not only to the players, but the damn the Pistons and the, uh, and the Pacers. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I guess there's a silver lining. If you see it, if you see, like, that's the standard for basketball fights. Oh, yeah. It ain't going to be another one. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like, like, all these little, these little push and shove and fights now and these arguments. If you oh, ain't, they don't really want if to you fight. ain't, if you ain't jumping in the stand swinging like Stephen Jackson, get out of my face. <laughs> now, hey, look, everybody was talked about everybody who was fighting them, but that's when I realized who really could fight. Jermaine O'Neal when he slid, boy, I said, oh, buddy could fight. <laughs> and Stephen Jackson, you could tell he done had some fights in the clubs and stuff like that, like real r- wild though. Yeah, 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 wild. yeah, wild. If you really, if you, really, I, you know, I was, but, he, but, but see. It's crazy you watch him on TV. And I remember meeting him at the Javante Davis. I was like, this is a big dude. About 6'5. Crazy. Got some got, from it, Texas. Grown and, and now he about what 40? That grown man strength? You don't oh, want no problem man. with that, man. You would think you could swing on him, but mm-mm. it's a different type of feel. Shit, they were they were swinging. They I'm were saying, standing. but on that, like the way he was swinging real wild. <laughs> he was like, I mean, oh. I was like, I was like, I, I Cause I, I, you know, what I'm saying a lot. Of, like you I say, I'm a dual sport athlete. <laughs> a lot of people don't know. I'm a black belt in taekwondo. You no, no cap, nigga. No, I, that's, that's I really, cap. bro. That's no, that's no, no like, like that's no cap. Like I don't think you can't do nothing. Kickboxing like. tournament. <laughs> like I used to really, really like. I got more trophies with kickboxing tournaments than anything from sports. For real. When I see you, like, cause if you don't know, Lou Young, he impersonates anybody. You know how sometimes you be watching, I'm like. Now he could have got. I'm like, nah, that nigga did that better than the other nigga he did. When you just did Cat Williams and Shannon Sharp, bro, I think that Shannon Sharp was funny. <laughs> and then you went to the Cat Williams. I was like, damn, but well, he did this with the Shannon Sharp shit. Yeah. Like how you move, like even your the metal rhythm, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. you go all into boy, it. Boy. So <laughs> when, like, even on the football <laughs> team, when you were doing like, you know, like from Georgia Tech, yeah, even before Georgia Tech high school and stuff like that, when you realized like. Bro, like I got a gift with this though. Like, uh, 
little like little league football, little league, like AAU basketball, like you know, uh, you spend a lot of time with like, you, you know you traveling. So every, we stand, we playing video games. Mm-hmm. Everybody, we stay, we all stay at my uh, my uh, my coach house and coach shout out to Coach Butch. He his basement was big big as hell. Mm-hmm. So I would keep everybody up. I would put on a show at like seven or eight, impersonating like him, mm-hmm. uh, our assistant coach, a couple of my teammates' moms. We had one mom, she used to sneak drinks in her water bottle. Mm-hmm. So she oh, would smell wow. like mouthwash in the beginning of the game. By the third game, malt liquor. You know it. <laughs> Newport. It ready for what? Pass that nigga the ball. Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> crazy. You know what I'm saying? But like I used to like the dude on the fish fry. And so I used to tell him, I was like, look, bro, I'm I'm at seven, eight, my boys will tell you right now. I used to tell him, I say, I'm gonna go pro football and then I'm gonna be on TV. Like me, like me and my mom used to watch Saturday Night Live, like stay up all night. Mm. Like mm-hmm. uh, I, I, I used to watch Old and Living Color stuff, Mad TV, and I snuck into my dad's comedy collection when he was like, when I was like, uh, probably like like eight, like eight or nine, because he used to, he used to give me all these football VHS tutorial videos and <laughs> like, basketball. Like, like pops, I, I don't want to see that shit. They would have me watching Pete Maravich. Dribbling videos and, <laughs> and Nick Saban, DB tapes. And I'm at a young, like, you know, and I was just like. Then it's already black and white, scripted. Yeah, it's so all yeah. fuzzy. I was like, come on, man. So I, I found, he had like Red Fox and Eddie Murphy and mm. Bill Cosby, all these different, uh, like, different, like, specials. I, and I, like, old Saturday Night Live when Eddie Murphy was on there. Yeah, for sure. That's what really, like, I was, was like, boy. Oh. I said, oh, I could really, like, because he, he, I mean, he, he like you impersonating somebody, yeah, doing characters and characters stuff like that, like, like multiple characters, yeah. That ain't. I'm gonna say that's not something easy to do, and mm. then like to do it at a high level. Like even if you don't have the voice on point, like you gonna do something where it's like that nigga killed. That lots, shit. yeah. A lot of times I might not have a voice right, but my yeah, mannerisms. You might keep yeah. your own yeah. voice, but my that shit still yeah. be like I don't po- talk exactly like Prime. I know I don't. But my, but I'm gonna get you like them hands them and hands. shit. He, Prime would say that. Yeah, yeah. Prime would say you know something. That you would Keywords. Say. Key, yeah, like cat. Like I know I don't sound like no cat win, but his mannerisms, like all that, the way he was sipping that that liquor. But looked, you you pay attention to detail. Yeah, though. yeah. That's what it is. So look, you growing up in D.C. How the hell you like thought about Georgia Tech? Didn't. For real? I never looked at Georgia or Georgia Tech on football on t- on college football TV. Never, ever. I used to watch. So what made you choose George Tech nice over the school? <sighs> I used to watch. So it was a dude. Um, y'all know Joe Hayden. You remember Joe Hayden, the Corner? cornerback? He yep. from. He from. Hell yeah. So his dad trained me coming up, mm-hmm. and I got real tight with them. And he started taking me on these uh, recruiting trips, mm-hmm. and I would go to, like these one day camps as a sophomore, and start getting offers to all of them. So I used to like watch Joe like. Like a hawk, like mm. he he had that swag. The way he everything he did, I tried to do. Mm-hmm. Even the way he wore I mean, the helmet he had, the socks, yeah. everything. So we I used, we used to watch Florida, Miami, Went to Florida. Uh, Ohio State. We used to watch Michigan and like Virginia Tech. I was real big on Virginia Tech, and then I was uh I was actually committed to Stanford. Boy. So I was oh, committed smart. to Stanford, like yeah yeah, oh, yeah. three point seven GPA something like you know what I mean I I <laughs> you know what I mean it's People get a misconception, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. Nigga, even me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, nah, I, ain't, I know you ain't no dummy, but I ain't seen 3.7. Yeah, man, I was taking AP shit. classes and shit. Nigga, yeah, I was hard. too, but I ain't having 3.7. <laughs> I, I think I was the first one to fail an AP class. Like, <laughs> where like you fail, a, like at McNair, you fail an AP class, you get in a regular. Yeah, like, you, just, yeah, yeah. Regular class. you just take the regular. Yeah. Nigga, I'm in there. Killing they ass. <laughs> Nigga, I'm looking like a... They were like, boy, you should be an AP. Bitch, I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So ah. Stanford... Uh-uh. Yeah, Stanford. Yeah, and and, Co- and John Harbaugh was there. Mm. And, um, and they had Richard Sherman there, and Andrew Luck. Um, and they, I mean, man, they was coming to every game. I committed to them as a, like, right before my junior year. Damn. Like, yeah. Oh, high- you knew it was up. Yeah, I did not... My official visit... Richard Sherman and Andrew had me on my official visit. Wow, that's dope. Yeah, like I was going to I was going to Stanford. Bro, now we could kind of see Richard Sherman 
personality. How was Andrew Luck, though? Is that the reason why you like, I ain't coming here? No. <laughs> Nah, I mean, from what I remember, like, they hold, but everybody was cool. The staff, oh, okay. Like, nobody was like, they was down to earth. Mm. Oh, okay. Everybody, okay. like, everybody down to earth. I just, out of nowhere, I think I got, like, I, I started thinking about being that far away from home. That's California. Facts. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, I, then you know, then I started getting way, I started getting way more offers out of nowhere. So, you know, people in my ear, I'm smelling myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, yeah. I'm a four-star recruit. For sure. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm, just, I'm getting letters like, I'm just, what? Just going through yeah. them. <laughs> I'm in the hallway like, shit. Yeah. I remember my basketball coach tried to say something to me, and I had a stack of letters in my hand. I said, nigga, <laughs> who are you talking to? <laughs> you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know what I'm saying? Just, better, and that was very arrogant. Better change your tone, yeah, nigga. like, I used to kick the raw. Nigga, you rack them up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I buy this school and you got to find another job. You know what I'm saying? So I was on that and then I decommitted. I did not commit again and decommitted. I probably I probably was one of the first niggas to decommit seven times. <laughs> so you Damn. just start bullshitting with that. Yeah, then I commit. I think I soft committed to Maryland and I said I was going to go to Virginia. Then I was going to go to Virginia Tech. Uh-huh. And then this the school you wanted now. I said I said I was gonna go to Virginia Tech, uh-huh. VT. And cause they had like um like you, uh what's my man? Uh De- D'Angelo, D'Angelo Hall. D'Angelo Hall. Um that D'angelo was like DBU. Yeah, yeah. Like Rock Carmichael. Michael Chancellor. Macho. Chancellor. Ma- Macho, Harris Macho Harris was my guy. Whew. Niggas forgot about him. Macho Come on, Harris. man, put some respect on Macho Harris. Yes. Macho Harris might have a game where he had two tackles. He do one of these, you would think he had three pick six. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up to the crowd. Macho, yeah. Macho. With that motherfucking curly hair. Yeah. So, he was, <laughs> yeah. He, was, <laughs> he had two tackles. That nigga. Two tackles. And you would think. <laughs> he do like this. <laughs> <laughs> you would think he had two pick sixes. Yeah. But that was it. And then um, the Virginia coach at the time, Al Gro, mm-hmm. he uh, got fired. And then he got the job at Tech. I was at the D coordinator. And he pulled up out of nowhere. I'm in the hallway. I'm about to go to class. He pulled up in the hallway at school with his new Georgia Tech gear on. Mm-hmm. I could tell he just got it, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, fresh out the fresh. Plastic. You can hear the creases. Yeah. And I'm going to my class. He said, uh, Lou. I said, I said, oh, what up, coach? He said, he said, I said, what's up? He said, come on. And he in the, my coach's office. I, ain't, I, I stayed in that office until 3 p.m. <laughs> this was at 10 a.m. Mm-hmm. Kept me in the office at 3 p.m. And man, he said, uh, now, I know you're thinking about Virginia Tech, blah, 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 blah. And and Georgia Tech just went to the Orange Bowl. Right. He said, but this is the uh this is the AP of uh top twenty five next year. And he and he's like flicking the pages and then it hit Georgia Tech, he said, He looked you see that? Oh. And then kept flicking. <laughs> and then like he was everything he was saying and he come from that NFL pedigree. He come from Bill Parcells and them. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's why I wanted to go to the league. Yeah. So I was like, shit, if I'm getting coached by one of the toughest t- uh, football minds, defensive minds, mm-hmm. I'm this is this is it. So he called my dad, came to the crib, and he said, man, this man didn't probably lead till midnight. Mm. And I think Saturday, we that Saturday we was in Atlanta. I ain't even looking. I, I I looked around. And I was just like, "Damn!" And we drove past like like Clark and Spelman. Shit. I was like, oh, yeah, "I saw how to do it." I saw, I saw he, the, he probably took that route anyway on for purpose. a reason. I on saw the, I saw the distance because I I, I saw purpose. a take him. And I was just like, yeah. ah, "I don't really I don't know." <laughs> and then he took me around there, and I said, "Okay." And I saw the distance. I said, "This ain't far at all." This ain't far. Yeah, I I, mean, I don't walk to some cuckoo before. <laughs> like this ain't. <laughs> Couple you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? This ain't nothing. I used to take the red line. <laughs> they don't know the red line. That's, you go from DC all the way to like Rockville, Maryland. I travel for that cuckoo. Oh, you got to. <laughs> so yeah, so that, that was that was just it. And then see, I'm uh, see, that was it. Reggie, you probably know like it, it's an era. Like that's why I don't know if these like I don't know if people really having. Good coochie traveling journeys no more. I remember getting on my bike. <laughs> getting on my bike. Bruh, nigga, uh, a chubby nigga pedaling for some pussy. You can't you can't ask me that question. I I'm a, I, I hope we, we can't get in trouble for this no more. I was driving at 14. 
I was the oldest, you know what I mean? So uh, for the walks and getting on the bus and everything like that. You ain't go through that. Nah, so folks. you didn't see, but that, nah. that's See, he away. was in all the places. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, well, oh. Driving at 14. Boy. We gonna yeah, ride I, with Reggie. Well, was, fuck y'all. Damn. <laughs> see, you remind, well, you remind me of them dudes that came, that when I was at middle, middle school mm-hmm. and, and like them girls was kind of developed. Like if you was in eighth grade, a lot of girls looked like they might have been in high school. And them old ass high school scenes pulling up with them Tonka trucks. Yeah. With that system <laughs> picking them up. I used to be like, fuck, man. Nah, but look, nah, I ain't do none of that. Nah, I ain't, I ain't nah, never I go backwards. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, went for it. Oh, you up. went up. Yeah, never, yeah. That's so how you fresh me in seniors. Yes, yeah. Ooh. I went up. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't yeah. never go to down. Yeah. That's a, in high school, that's a boy. Now, look, now <laughs> you get a pat, like your freshman year in college, you can come back to school. Bullshit. But what? No. If she, if you was talking to her before you left, well, you know what, yeah, your freshman, you're right. No, no, no. I, I give you that. No, no, no. To hit a senior jail. To. No, no, no. To. If you was a, you gotta senior, go clean up. What? If you was a senior, <laughs> man. If you was a senior and 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 she was a junior, and now you about you a freshman in college, you yeah. back home for those Christmas. Break? And you had a D one mm-hmm. school, oh, yeah. Yeah. man. Yeah. What? Go crazy. Yeah, I, I, that was my last one. I, I did a world tour. I feel well, you on that, that. That one, that one Christmas break. I had to back up. I know you did. I know, I, know, I, know, I know you did. You get yeah, one Christmas. That's it. <laughs> After sophomore year, you can't it's do done. that. No. Right. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah. Because look, this is what it is. Well, y'all, y'all, was, y'all were playing college football at the time, so it's different for y'all. Like at that first year out of school, you everybody go to the homecoming game mm. that next year. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's when you... Touch bases yeah. on everything that you, yeah. you, got you felt like story. you missed out. Yeah, you got that team issue, true Georgia Tech gear. True story. You right. What? You were a number one. You right. I had to think, and I reminded myself, and I'm back See, down. Reggie, you got to think. And Reggie was QB1. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. Come on, man. Everybody Reggie, knows the quarterback. Look, Reggie have a lot on his plate. <laughs> He, cause look, he still probably get fussed at about shit like that. Hey, bro, come on. So man. you mean to tell me you lied? You know what I mean? You said you didn't fuck. Nah, they just over with. They over with. They over with. It's over but with. Nah, yeah, I have to uh, sometimes <laughs> go back and remember and, and refresh and find you think myself. You, you think you still at Georgia Tech, nigga? Man, come on, don't start. Let me that. tell you, heard that. A few. <laughs> a few. What's that Georgia Tech versus Georgia rival since both of y'all on the couch? You know, both of y'all went to Georgia Tech. He probably got better over than me because it wasn't no rivalry for, for, for us. I mean, we made it exciting. You know what yeah. I mean? I, I didn't beat him. But you still hate Georgia, though. Nah, I can't I can't rock with him. Nah, I don't like him. We went 0-4. Oh, That's you did? Yeah. We, we, we uh, my sophomore year, we had a we had It's a so good much. It's, it's not really a rivalry. I guess it's just a, it's a game that's it's, played. It's, oh, it's Georgia, Georgia Tech. Yeah. yeah. You know? And that's it, really. They won when when Roddy was there, when Roddy was a running back. They won that one year. They did. They what, came 08? back. Oh eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, two thousand eight, yeah. I think we won twice in recent history, for real. Like it's it's been lopsided for, for my boy for a while. Shaq, Shaq, my dog Shaq. He went to he went to UGA. Yeah, Boom. look, you hanging with him, right? Now my dog. I can't believe that shit. I'm a dog, man. Uh, I'm I'm messing with. My cousin, my cousin went to Georgia Tech. He the one who put me on Lou like way before. I think this is right before you started doing Steve Harvey. Ooh. CG. Oh. You uh, remember that time I, we faced? So look. Oh, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because he be in your video. I was like, damn, man, he, that nigga ain't never been in my shit. But long story <laughs> short. I said, I see you. You with Lou. <laughs> no, but he was like, bro, he was like, cuz, I'm telling you, this nigga funny. He funny. Then I start seeing it, and I, you start doing the Steve Harvey shit. Yeah, and I think that was the one you ain't looked back since. That was the that was the one that took because okay, me and CG was a a freshman my sophomore I mean my my senior year at Tech. Mm-hmm. So he was a DB. So you know, but I wasn't one of those upperclassmen that make you know make all the young guys do. Clean their laundry, yeah, and, yeah you know, that, that type of goofy. Get shit. my get my McDonald's. Thing. I was like, I, y'all niggas, come on, man. I, yeah, like let's let's have we, y'all want to get something to drink. Like I'm taking it's on me. Yeah, type shit. I, real I, being a real nigga. Yeah, like that. Was, so we always was like all the young dudes, like, but CG always been low key like hilarious mm-hmm. on the low, and I and like so anytime like he he would laugh at anything I did low key in in, in, the, in the meeting room just like we would be geeking. Mm-hmm. So uh, when we was fast forward, we was at my last year playing in the league was in Arizona, and then I was trying to get back, so I did that AAF 
Mm-hmm. Shit went bankrupt. Uh, with the uh, Legends? Yeah, in Atlanta. In Atlanta and yeah. and Shaq was there, CG. It was like a fan of reunion. Yeah. Uh, it's like, damn, oh, what up, boy? Like, you know what I'm saying? And I was doing the videos on days we didn't have practice, or like right after practice. Mm-hmm. So I would, you know, I was really just trying to just pay bills with, with, <laughs> with the AAF. I ain't going to lie. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was funding the comedy low key because I I think I still had a little little bit of savings from the league, but I was you know buying props and all this stuff. Well, I thought you were finna say something else. When you said <laughs> <laughs> buying, I heard the p word. I was like, come on, Lou, not, not on camera. <laughs> but props, okay? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna do that. That <laughs> man been to DR. Yeah, <laughs> something just hit me. <laughs> But it's like, nigga, I ain't making it to the league, but I had my first Wait, year. I know, man. I know how I could be. <laughs> hey, hey, man. No, I can't say that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but nah. So, um, man, CG would just help me out, like, like him, Shaq, and and Carlos, and and all three. Man, they. This is like after the, the league went bankrupt. Mm-hmm. So you know, then we went to the to the uh, pandemic. Wow, so that was tough. That was right after that. Yeah, too. man, yeah. that shit was not. You know, but we just la- got through it, man. They would just pull up on to help me with videos and this. I mean, so like he was. It was just. It was just love. But brother, the fact that's just show a testament of you not giving up, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it like with that being. That and then to come after the pandemic hit right after that, cause shit, I don't care what nobody say. The pandemic hurt a lot of people. Man, yeah, yeah, dude. And, and I just got, I just got to pray to God. I'm glad unemployment saved my life and saved <laughs> a lot of people' life around me. Man, I'm like the pan, but the pandemic though, I know you know, it, like you say, it was a tough time, but that shit woke me up. Oh yeah, like like okay, I'm gonna tell y'all. So like you said, the Steve Harvey stuff was starting to hit, right? Mm-hmm. The Super Bowl, Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl, and I think right at the Super Bowl, that's when, like, two months later, the pandemic hit, right? We go to the, um, to I, I convinced these niggas to let me go to the uh, NFL honors on the red carpet, right? Because I, I was ready to, I was ready to show these niggas, yeah, hey, nigga, I'm still, I'm still doing it. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the red carpet too. Got a point to prove. Yeah, for the wrong reason though. For, yeah. Right. I I, <laughs> I didn't realize that I really told these niggas, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be Sleeve Harvey in character. That so stocking cap and a fucking mustache on. These niggas pulling up and designing shit. Got I mean women, but, but I'm just like, damn, I'm over here with this microphone, <laughs> this fucking looking stocking. country as hell. <laughs> man, and and man, I bombed the whole shit. It was terrible. Mm. Like it, it just, it was bad. Then the night before. You know, I'm in Miami. Some of my boys is there. I'm lit. Mm. Lit up. Like a firecracker. I almost missed the call time. I'm in there sweating. I mean, bullets. Like David Ruffin. Dang. Real <laughs> shit. Like, I I mean, I literally, it was bad. And after that, I remember I went home, and I'm in front of the Gold, shout out Gold's Gym in Largo. I'm in the parking lot, and Chriselle called me. Oh, uh, Chriselle is the GOAT. With uh, Steve Harvey team that that they signed me, and she like she a white lady with a black soul. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so one, you know them, yeah. Like, like the mama and four brothers. Yeah. yeah R. They R. Sound like my mama. R. I. P. You know what I mean? But like she and she come, she said, "Lou, we gotta talk about Miami." I was like, and I was nervous because I knew I fucked up. And she said, and she just, I mean, I sit in that car by myself. For like two hours. And after that, I said, okay, I got to really. Because she said, well, you can't do this Sleeve Harvey shit. The rest. She said, we want to know who Lou Young is. Like, mm. what about your experiences? What other? I was like, well, shit. And then my sister, she was like, Lou, why don't you just start all this stuff you're doing around the house? Just make do these characters. And uh, and then after that, I started to make the coach, different players. Nigga. And that's yeah. Bro, um, no, yeah. I don't think this get enough credit. Nigga, you doing that BMF shit. I'm glad you just... Bro, niggas would rather watch the shit you were doing <laughs> yeah. than watch the real shout, episode. Hey, shout Man, that that's nigga, what I that, started doing. Bro, yeah. shows will make you hate niggas. 
I started hating that damn dad. Like, bro, come on, bro. <laughs> I ain't taking no drug. But it would be you to bring that out of yeah. it. Like, that nigga do be doing that shit for no reason. Yeah. Also, like the power shit. You 36. Yeah. 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 Shit oh, Zeke. Shit. Yeah, Zeke. Oh, the Zeke, Zeke shit. the Zeke shit really. <laughs> that shit blew up. The Zeke shit really, like, <laughs> Bruh. that showed the versatility because I was doing Zeke. I, I did. Uh, uh, the the, the, dad. the Spanish dad, yeah. <laughs> and, and 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 shout out B Lynn, my sis. She she was she killed doing she oh man, oh, yeah. she, she killed everything. Oh, what's up, she do, hey. I mean, so we like we like uh you know Ebony and Ivory, man. We 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 Ike and Tina, no physical, you know. Yeah yeah, get it. But we really yeah. get yeah. It. like like yeah. like we and we just bounce off each other. It's 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 dope. So look, Lou, with you doing this and you understanding this and being on camera and stuff like that, mm. talk about like the NIL. Like if you if you had a chance to be a part of that. Oh, that, that was- okay, if I tell everybody this, if they had the port, like they first they had the transfer portal. Uh-huh. Right? So You would have left? I'd have went to three schools in three years. That's I mean, that's a fact. For what? Just because? Just because. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's what they doing. <laughs> Yeah. That's what they do. I'd have went to three schools in three years. You know what schools it would have been or you would have just... I'd have left tech as soon as I got on campus. No, this is, no, <laughs> I I, pre- I got my degree three years. I appreciate it. But as soon as I got on campus and they was doing that triple option and cut blocking these. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Whoa, nigga, what are you doing? Get up. Cut blocking. <laughs> Game week. Nigga, I'm That's a starter. Crazy. Yeah, you cut blocking me for it. Just stop doing this stupid ass shit. I'd have left that day. <laughs> well, I used. To, that's the only reason I was like. Cause I think the city want to be be. Uh, I think right now, that's all the city missing with tech. Like, cause I think during them years, even watching on offense, you know, when they would do that, it's like, bro. But you had, but you see when he played. No, nah, that was after me. Yeah, that yeah, that yeah. triple up. No, no, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. When you play, yeah, he they played. Playing, he played with Calvin. I ain't saying we weren't playing football, but they was playing ball. Oh, we had to sit on fire. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and then the, uh, Chan Gailey. Chan Gailey. Yeah, Chan, Chan Gailey yeah. was still. So really, uh, and Paul Johnson, shout out PJ, Hall of Famer. And, Love uh, him. Uh, uh, I mean, he's a genius. I've never seen somebody really take a triple option and really like go against top tier athletes and make plays like you can't do that shit in the league shit they weren't doing it <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I mean like it's just what it is like but but it's hard it's hard to play def- uh, as a DB it was just uh, it was even a- like you practicing for it like bro. nigga I'm playing linebacker for real I'm playing outside linebacker yeah. ain't no receiver this ain't getting me ready for the week bro what read is this the yeah. nigga under this, they got it. Then the, the, the it's a wishbone. Definitely what it was. You know what I'm saying? That shit like some damn nine U football. Yeah, you football. <laughs> so like, like Welcome you, say, all, you yeah. say, right? So Welcome like, all. like you say, I would have, I would have t- three different schools. Mm-hmm. But I think, man, I think it's a beautiful thing with the NIL. Like. If if nigga, you would have ran that shit up. You would have with social media, that shit. yeah, with social, social, yeah. So, social sure. media was just starting to get hot mm-hmm. when I was in school, and 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 uh, you know, the IG and shit like that, like posting and stuff. And so I used to do little impersonations, like, um, and my boys would like like you know late night, you know, one of them uh, dorm room parties in yeah, front yeah. of. I used to really do it because the girls be there. Right. Right. Nigga, I, nigga. You get them laughing. That's the only reason it's to be rap. funny. Right? You know, I mean, I, anything else, nigga, you chill. Man, chill. I ain't no hoes in here, nigga. Right. <laughs> you making us laugh for nigga. Yeah, like, I'm like, oh, we got to, oh, yeah. They it's like, time to go. They like, Lou, do that, do that one. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, do that shit. Now you won't stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for my next trick. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I used to post it, but I would delete it because... I would get in trouble because they were like, Lou, you can't be cussing like that. Oh. And blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I used to get in trouble on social media. Like stuff I would tweet. I used to cuss out fans. <laughs> For shit. real? Yeah, like if I, if somebody, you know, every once in a while I might make a bad play. Like, we get rid of him. He take his ass back to DC. Take your bitch, at, come to DC then. He yeah. Pull up on me. For sure. Like, but that, and then they would put it on the PowerPoint and be like, well, this is what we don't want, Lou. Oh, and I was like, okay. Oh, they will point it out like in team means and shit. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Social media wasn't my best friend, but I would have, if 
I just ain't know. I, I didn't really understand. So I, I got to the point I really didn't like social media because I was getting in trouble for it. For sure. Mm-hmm. So, but knowing what I know now and, and with that, and, man, what? You the milk they had. What? <laughs> they say, oh, uh, because right now, Bronny and your boy Shador, they the highest paid when it comes to- uh, Yeah, I think Shador getting what? Or uh, I know Bronny Caleb, getting- Caleb in there too, ain't he? Uh, I think Caleb getting Caleb about getting, four. Yeah. Bronny getting about six. Shador like two or three. Two or three. Off oh, social media? No, no, no just NIL. NIL. Oh. Yeah. I was about to, okay. Archie Manning. Archie, Archie Manning was about 4. 6, folks. Let me tell you this. Now, that damn Texas quarterback, did you see when they was uh, finna play in the game and everybody was over there by Archie Manning? Man, yeah, uh, before the game. That was the, the media day. Yeah, media day. Yeah. That nigga, that nigga looked back. That nigga looked back and saw them. That nigga almost lost his mind. Like, y'all fucking with Buddy? And it seemed like he felt like that all game. It, it seemed like he felt, it, even on the sideline during the game, he said he felt kind of dejected. Man, he you seemed saw, kind of dejected. He felt like he got hurt. Happened, he bro. saw Archie Manning warming up. He like, no, I'm good, coach. I can get back it, it, out there. Man, I swear I saw that. I, it, it felt like that at least. But he yeah. hasn't declared yet, which is weird. Who didn't? Uh, Ewers, the QB for Texas. He hasn't declared it for the draft or anything. Well, it's a wrap him either way. It, I mean, back, Manning, back Manning is about to play. The black the backup dude. QB. He, he was actually good. Yeah. He, they told him. That, I'm sorry. Manning is about to <laughs> have that ball in his hands. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's, it's a done deal. So yeah. he better figure it out, whether he go to another school or hit the league or whatever. I mean, bro, they know who that man is behind him. You know what I mean? It's just a, a matter of time. Did y'all see that new college player? Uh, what's not new college player? What's his name? Noah Nigger. Uh, Kaniga. Noah Kaniga. Oh, a, I said it wrong. My he's bad. a out of Indiana. He's a high school uh, sophomore out of Indiana. I think uh, RG3, linebacker. RG three just interviewed him and his whole family. Yeah, the other day. He he said I I wanted to interview the the Kaniga family. So that's how you pronounce it. Is it Kaniga? Kaniga. It's not nigga. It's nigga. I think. Don't they, that remind you that Dave Chappelle skit? Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it is. Yeah. Not those niggas. Morning, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> not those niggas. Oh, you the nigga who but No, not those niggas. It's a little nigga boy. Right. <laughs> it's nigga crazy boy. how, like, low-key, like, comedy, entertainment, really low-key predicting stuff. Yeah. That's tough. That's crazy. Bro. Yeah. Because, like, nigga, where are your <laughs> foreparents? Like... <laughs> your foreparents. <laughs> I'm saying, it didn't start with y'all. How are we just not hearing about you niggas? <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended, right? <laughs> yeah, the, da- the dad's the head football coach, yeah, Ryan Kanega. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. boy, I- ain't nice. come on, man. That's, that's, <laughs> that's like, that's ooh, crazy. that's so close. How you pronounce? It's not nigga. Man. It's Kanega. <laughs> right. If you, if you, if 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 ball was, if they had the nils, boy, you. We talked about this already. Them jersey sales, them number ones. But yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. Did you know his story feelings. about the visors? I told you about that, Oakley. No, well, I know I had one because they said, well, well, no, tell me. But you know, I they had that's my picture on the front of that mirror tent, Oakley uh visor. That they all on posters and stuff? Well, I don't know about the posters, but if you look at it, um, I'll show you a picture in a minute. The the box for the Oakley Shield, that's me on the front of that box. Damn. That's me they versus wrong, uh, that North man. Carolina. And you'll see the North Carolina field and the reflection and all that shit. So uh, Oakley, man, just show me. Man, some love. come on, bro. We, show me we some need love. that reparations. Some. And we and, and it's so much money out here, bro. Come on, man. But you know we signed that class action lawsuit thing and, and settled for likeliness. So I don't know if that falls under that. But I'm definitely. What you I'm, mean I'm for that bullshit? Four thousand they sent everybody. Yeah, for the uh, NCAA, the, man, the game EA Sports. For the game EA Sports. That's coming, that's coming back out. Or yeah. Well, you it? know they settled. With, well, they settled with for, with players. For using the likeliness, the numbers, and everything like Pass. that. Everybody yeah. got four bands, and that's it. Yeah. Mm. So look, you got down. You done been on a lot of like the networks. You you doing stuff like you know what I'm saying. Speaking on sports, but people don't even realize like you played sport at the highest level. Like you was in the league. Mm-hmm. Like to go to a Super Bowl. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I was out. Yeah. I was at the Super. I was I was in the Super Bowl. <laughs> I ain't play in the Super. I had I tell everybody man, I had the best seat in the house. My dog, you went I, to the Super Bowl. I, I, yeah. I, but, but, that was a big Super you Bowl. You went to the Super Bowl. No, 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 I, no, no. The fifth and I I didn't realize how legendary that was. Like yeah. my pops and his his and, and my stepmom, his wife. On, like it's hard when I say like that's my stepmother. Mm-hmm. And, but but like. I gotta stop saying like his wife, cause they married like when I was older. So I, I gotta stop saying, but 
shout out to Monique. That's my that's that's my stepmom. She she hey, she, well, she uh, I don't know what's going on in the family. <laughs> Cause it's like you, you start sweating like <laughs> hey, he ain't finna piss somebody. Hey, hey look. Hey, you gonna start putting some respect on him. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't my wife. She a mama to you too. She buy your shit. <laughs> nah, like that that is... was from her. <laughs> I, didn't, I ain't know about your shit. I ain't <laughs> think about that. Your plenty of meal, boy. Go ahead and dress. No, that no, such. no. Like so, but they they got to experience <laughs> this is my <motherfucker. laughs> You could come. If my wife can't come, I ain't. All right, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> but you hey. Nah, real talk, though. But mm. they, so Beyonce performed at that, at that Super Bowl. Damn. Yeah. Got that part. Beyonce, got Bruno that part. Mars, was that? Man, hey, yeah. legendary, bro. No, I would, if I ain't playing coach, I ain't going to that. Man, I'm chill out here. You think I stayed in that locker room <laughs> for that fucking... For that bullshit speech. <laughs> hey, what he was talking about in that loop? <laughs> man, Cam coming in. Hey, man, we got. <laughs> he talking to y'all. Y'all. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, what? Run the world, girls. I was. In there. <laughs> I said, "Oh shit, you got me fucked up." Hey, what Cam say? Cam say, "Hey, Bob, we got." <laughs> <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> <laughs> I'm in str- I'm in street attire, dude. Get the fuck on out of here. <laughs> I got my I got my Super Bowl hoodie, like you know. It's, yeah, it's, I got all the stuff I, got I need. I'm here. Yeah, but I damn sure ain't about to be sitting over here acting like I'm about to get in the game. Yeah, pow, <laughs> niggas is in there. Come on, man. <laughs> we came too fucking far for this shit, bro. <laughs> Well, y'all nigga playing soft as shit. If the <laughs> offense, <laughs> bitch, I ain't playing. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, That's, these niggas is upset. <laughs> <laughs> what, what can you say? Instagram got your bed. <laughs> 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 no. I, I was out. I was gone. I, Pops was like, "Man, you missed the show, dude." Beyonce, I said, "No, I saw some of it." <laughs> I ain't miss that thing. I mean, fucked up. Hey, did you have to play like you was upset at the end when mm-hmm. y'all got... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get your head down. Snatch your shit out of the pocket. <laughs> because that's crazy as fuck. I ain't never told nobody this story. <laughs> because my, like, the locker, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm active. Yeah. But I wasn't, I was inactive. Mm-hmm. But I'm on the active roster. Gotcha. So practice squad niggas be like, it was the practice squad was in like a little hut over there, you know what I mean? And everybody just it's it all came to a hut, and folks just crying, boom, coach hugging folks and stuff. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit, bro, this shit crazy, bro. Like, but we, we we did too much for this. I'm looking at the other. I was just I, then I I was like, you know how you nigga slowly emotionally. Put his 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 gear into the bag, and I was just like, "Coach, come in." Sorry, Lou. Next year, I was like, "I know, I know." <laughs> Boy, been acting his ass off. Soon as man. soon as <laughs> that night, outside. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I was with the Broncos. Hey, you was like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I went to leaving it. See, a lot of people don't know this. I do not blame I, you. My rookie year, I was undrafted to the Denver Broncos. Mm. So to leave, Chris Harris, oh, they they they're my cool. niggas. Yeah. Man, during the game, they, as we about to lose, I'm over there trying to act upset. To leave, walk up to the cell. He said, lose, I'm back like you don't know me, nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what we doing tonight? <laughs> I said, bro, chill. Not in front of them. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Man, I was... I, I with the Broncos that night. For sure. You'll be a fool not to be. I'm with the Broncos that night. Bitch, ask me who you play for. Them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. When you said that, it made me think about when Grunk had lost the Super Bowl. That nigga, they it got that nigga on video tick <laughs> and fuck. Shirt bro, off everything. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and he played. So imagine nigga who didn't play. Man, what? Nigga, never, you probably I, was in that bitch going stupid like you won. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, hey, 
And I ain't pay for nothing. I, you'll be a fool too? Bro, I'm talking about, oh, because Von Upman showed love. Same. <laughs> Them niggas show, oh, shout out Omar, everybody, man. They, bro, they treated me like it was Rob. Shout out my boy Roby. Mm. Roby, Roby was the first round draft pick. We were both rookies. We came, we were roommates. Uh -huh. The whole time we we training for, uh, you know, you, off season. His sign bonus was about well, three point five mil. My sign bonus was three point five. Thirty five hundred. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> why you had to say three one five? Hey, it was five thousand, but after taxes, I got thirty five hundred. And I remember I bled through that shit in like three days. Of course, and I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> and Rose was like, "Straight loop." I was like, "Shh." <laughs> Just wait, I'm just, just, I ain't, I ain't going out with y'all boys, bro. He, he said, "Bro, come on, Lou, what the fuck you talking?" About? I said. I ain't going out with y'all niggas. <laughs> he said, bro, stop bitching, bro. I said, yeah, nigga, I ain't got nothing in the pot. Yeah, I'm bitching. He said, Lil' bro. Man. You like Brandon T. Jackson. <laughs> I'm broken. <laughs> <laughs> it is us. <laughs> man, the nigga, hey, man, bro, I ain't paid for nothing. The rest of the, all the checks I would get, you know, like all season checks, I got, he said, pocket everything. Every, I ain't Boy, Shut up. Clap it up for a real. Bradley, Brad, it's rare though. He rode. He let me. He had another. He bought another car. He he let me push the uh the the uh, matte black uh charger throughout the whole train. Ooh. Boy, I know you were mad. You had to leave there. <laughs> I was so man, hot. man, man, please. Oh no. Oh, when they cut me <laughs> the last day, cause I was going. They told me I was signing the practice squad. Uh -huh. Man, that's when I realized this shit is cutthroat. Yeah. The man, they, I'm seeing everybody leave. Uh -huh. Like I said, I've been pushing the the the, the, the Dodge Charger, Matt Black, stacking my money. I'm ready. I'm looking at places. don't start counting other look checks. I'm looking at places. Say I'm like oh, I can help moms with this. Boo -boo. They they meet with me the night before. I mean the the the, the, the cut. They said yeah, Lou. Like we we gonna be here. I see my locker the next day. Nigga called me. I'm looking around the locker. I'm like man, something don't feel. It's the next day. I'm like something don't feel. Right. I call my agent. I said. Man, you talk to them? He said, hold on, Lou. Be, just be chill. <laughs> I said, be chill. Something don't feel right. Man, I'm, I'm a big I'm a big energy person. I can feel where the shit ain't right. Word. Man, <laughs> the other people who going to sign, going to be there, they come down, they say, Lou. I said, everybody else ain't going? Like, what's up? Man, the day before, the, it was so many laughs. Everybody in the office upstairs, whoa, whoa, whoa. A Grim Reaper came and got me, and we went upstairs. It was a ghost town. Mm -hmm. They was in one office. It's, they was hiding. They was in the office, no, right? And put me in. They said, "Yeah, Lou, man, it's, sorry, it's some numbers thing. We gonna have to let you go." But I, I, said, you, I said, "My locker down." He said, "One of the guys we drafted didn't get picked. We thought he was gonna get picked up. So it's, but if you just stay in shape, man, I'm telling you." I said, what the f but I t We were staying at the Ramada Inn. They had us there for training camp. Mm -hmm. I fucked that whole room up. Mm. What you do to it? TV. You know how to would it go purple and, and tan? Took the took that uh took one of them uh, office chairs. Mm -hmm. Fa! Took the other chair, threw it to the wall, kicked that sh <clears throat> I mean, I mean, I let I, I left my mark. They driving me to the airport. It's two Denver Broncos. Nigga, how did you get Robert back the key? Like, what? How was that? I ain't know how to. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I ain't gonna lie to you. He calling me. He said, "Lou, man, we, I'm about to pull pull up." I said. He pulled up on me. I said, "No, no, no, no." He was he was like he was like pull up to his because he just got his spot. He said, yeah. "Pull up." I said, "I'm gonna pull up," but this <laughs> this is my last. Uh... <laughs> oh. It's my last pull up. My last pull up. I pulled up. I, I said, "Yeah, bro, they ain't." He said, "Why you lying?" He said. I said, yeah. And then the, the truck that's waiting for me, I told him to follow me. Cause I was gonna get one last ride in this this charger. <laughs> that hurt my heart. I'm talking about man, I was pushing that charger like it was, oh nigga, you just seen the whole season. Like, I got a car. I got I a car. On that. He basically was like, he said, bro, yes, that's you. Yeah. Damn. 
Hey, shout out to all them OGs that be looking in, looking out for the free agents and the guys coming in the later rounds. Yeah. Too. Cause that's not that's not uncommon. We was in the same class. We was in the same. Yeah, same class. he was a rookie though doing still, it. Still like, yeah. Like, I had a old, Ernie Sims was a guy that mm. looked out for me. Anthony Cannon was a uh, one one of my OGs that actually went to Stevenson. Mm -hmm. Looked out for me like that. Boss Bailey. Um, mm. Who else? It was a couple other guys uh, in Detroit. Sean Cody, D lineman from uh, uh, USC. The good OGs. They do they look do at it. Spoke, okay. they, they, they let you hold the keys, whatever you need, uh, put a little money in your pocket. So shout out to all them OGs still keeping that going for real. Cause yeah, that's man. that's 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 a real thing. I, no, I was sure. uh, that, that. that's a good story to even hear though. Like yeah. somebody doing something like cause we like it so become so common, we be like, that's player. Right. But it's like everybody not doing shit. player no, shit. No, that that P no. right there for Yeah. Real, like I man, you see. Whew. I well, you talk when you when they say niggas act like bitch. I mean, I've seen it. Yeah, real whole, like yeah. whole whole yeah. tendencies. Yeah, doing suck ass. Man, shit. but you know, I digress. I I can only give my story and I, and my experiences. I was just like, man, a lot of folks took care of me when because I, I was man, I was getting cut every month. Mm -hmm. Every month I was getting cut. I, Denver one month cut. Went to uh, Jim Harbaugh come because I had did a workout for them, workout for them during the draft process. Mm -hmm. They called me on draft day. I thought they were gonna draft me. They called me on draft day, the seventh round. They said, "Yeah, Louis, think about." I'm like, "Oh, they draft my homeboy." Shout out Mike Camp, Campanero, and then oh, okay. uh, and uh, but but as soon as I got cut from the Broncos, next week they called me. Call me. Okay, I'm on the team for a month. That's how I got tight with Steve Smith. Mm -hmm. Cause I thought he was gonna try to kill me. For real? <laughs> he don't play. Nigga, what He's happened? Serious, dog. So first week, <clears throat> no, now, now, every team is different, mm -hmm. and how they treat practice squad guys is different. And I learned that this, as, this is my rookie year. I'm, I'm learning everything. But I'm, ba I'm in Baltimore. I'm from DC, Baltimore. So now I'm kind of close to home. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I can stay at my stepmom, my, my brother, my sister's mom. Mm -hmm. I'm staying with her. So I ain't got to pay no. I'm, well, I'm paying. I'm making, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. them, but you ain't got to worry about yeah. right. you being the, if some shit go wrong. I ain't got to get no furniture, like, yeah. shit like that. <laughs> yeah. So, man, the way they do their practices is it's no warm-up. Like, uh, as soon as you leave the locker room, you, you're doing special team drills, running full speed, like punt Damn. drills, kickoff drills, and kickoff. Because Jim Harbaugh is a special teams mind. Mm -hmm. That's what he do. He paid more attention to that than all the other shit. Yeah. Running. And as a practice squad guy, you got to run until they say stop and give them a look. Full speed. So, there ain't no stretching. You got to come ready. Mm -hmm. And the way they do one-on-ones and everything, it's real competitive. But nobody wanted to go against Steve. And I was like, damn. And so, I'm, I was like, shit, I'm going to go against, like, and man, he gave, he, I'm talking about, he, he was killing me the whole week, talking shit, spinning the ball, hitting his helmet and shit. <laughs> hey, like, you know what I mean? Little boy. Because, you know, he from Cali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you again, son. Yeah. Like, I said, damn. I, I, I felt plays. So I was like, all right, nigga, next week, I'm all right. Yeah. I'm, I'm studying. I, yeah. So next week, I made some plays. One day, I make, I make like three plays back to back on them. And they let you compete. And I, and I leave my arm in a little too much. Like, I batted away and I just felt that shit. I'm, I'm, ah. He said, hey, young. Come with my last name. Yeah, hey, young. Leave your arm in again, son. I'm going to break it. <laughs> no laugh. No. <laughs> Keep on. Yeah. Keep on. I ain't no hoe. I'm like, and this is one of my, I, I look up Steve Smith. Yeah. I said, hey, fuck. I said, bro, we playing ball, man. Fuck this. Like, I turned around and said, <laughs> I had my helmet. I was like, "What? This, this, this Steve Smith. This Steve Smith Senior. Yeah, like, yeah. He got the C on the, on the on the name now. Yeah. Make some more play. Boom. So after practice and meetings, boom, I'm one of the last one in the locker room. He came to work every day in a suit. Mm. Every day. Yeah, every day. No, no. I'm talking about like, oh, like, okay. like what? Yeah, practice. Yeah. Yeah. He walked to. The, yeah. He came with a suit. Shit. Two piece, like three piece suit. 
And I and I'm like in the shower, and he walking up on me. Now this same day, he walked up on me. I grabbed my helmet. I like, okay, mm. I know the history. <laughs> he done beat the nigga ass. Yeah. Before. Like real, like for real. That how you talking about that grown man scrimp? That grown yeah. man scrimp. He five eight, about two hundred. Right, calf muscle like that. Damn. Um, like, like this dude solid. I had my helmet. Like I was like I was ready. He what he say? He say, hey, hey, respect that, bro. Mm. A lot of these guys are soft. <laughs> they don't want it. Keep doing that. <laughs> Keep doing. I got you. I like. I mean, I'm just trying to play ball, man. That's all. <laughs> <I'm thinking. laughs> we still play to this. To this day. To this day. We still, we still remember me and stuff like when that. When I went to Carolina, mm-hmm. that, 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 uh, it was a golf event. Now I'm with the Panthers. At the golf event. He bear hug. What up, boy? That's love. I'm like, what? How you still remember me, nigga? Yeah. He's, man, I was But so you knew how to leave with Mark, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so absolutely. every, every, so a lot of people, every, every team I went to as a rookie, you know, as a rookie, you got to do a rookie show, right? The training camp, yeah. Training camp and everything. But I was a rookie. The whole everywhere I went, it was like their first time seeing me. Yeah. I said, "Nigga, you better do something." <laughs> so I had to do a. Sh- I was like on tour. I had to do a show <laughs> every month. The dates. I had to do a show. Hey, you crossed my team. <laughs> I did that for them. <laughs> did that for them. Real shit. Sold was, this one out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really I'm rocked. This one. <laughs> I'm on the house now. <laughs> Them so, niggas was not ready for me in Denver. <laughs> so literally, it was like that. Denver, Baltimore, Jacksonville. Jacksonville, we was in London. Mm-hmm. Shout, cool. out to, shout out to Jacksonville. That's how I got my passport. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> went to uh, real shit. And I said, y'all getting out of me, I'm going to get something. What this, this, I'm leaving with something. Damn right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And we was on the bus. And one of them, you know, sometimes, some certain d line be sometimes, they look out, but some D linemen be all aggressive. Like, man, that, that young nigga ain't never did no no rookie show on the bus. Yeah, we in London. Yeah. Man, what the fuck is wrong with you? So I got up on the mic and started acting like uh, I think I was acting like Denzel or something as a uh, one of those tour guys and shit or something oh, okay, like okay. that. And uh, I I think I fucked him up when I I think I says. Something like, uh, like what he said in flight, like they tried to kill my. Oh no, not not oh, American gangster. Uh-huh. That's, that's, I was like, uh, they tried to kill my wife. Mm-hmm. I don't look so peaceful. And the niggas was like, you know what I'm saying? Boom. And then, uh, and, but every so all them dudes from Jacksonville, they they some of my biggest supporters now. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Then when I went to Carolina, I had to do I had to uh, do another show. <laughs> and then, and, hey, not. <laughs> <laughs> this not trying to be. Did you ever play this year? No, As no, a rookie? Did, no. Yeah, did you ever come? Cause you were talking about doing the shows. I ain't never know if you had ever. This is a rookie. I ain't play no. I like I was on practice squad. So you practice. So you just were doing rookie shows every. Yeah. Oh. So I, everyone sometimes if I did really good, they might you know give me a couple extra hundred. Yeah. <laughs> so. But I'm saying you were so impressive in the rookie show, but it it still didn't. Man, and then I make I be making plays, blah blah. And then and then they cut me. Then I mean, all the coaches say the same. Man, bro, we like, bro, we love you, Lou. It's just man, shut the fuck up. I said, bro, come on, yeah, man. Yeah. F- it's politics, probably more likely. What you mean? I mean, it, it, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's it's it's. But I, but, I don't like to you, say that. If you being a likable person, like why is it why you, you still not? I win a lot, but see, I'm at these spots for one month. And I'm leaving the mark, right? Cool. I get to Carolina. I, I was Carolina for three years straight. Mm. But every because of my trauma from getting cut every month, I was on edge. Never if you touch me, I might yeah. I might smack the shit out of you. And I remember Coach Rivera like, I'm I'm balling. Like he lets you compete. I'm pick I'm picking Cam off. Ask Cam. He tell you. Mm. I'm like every day I'm making a play. I'm trying to stay straight up. And they, they, you know, they give me love, blah, blah, blah. They still ain't played me yet, but they just get, you know, they keep me on. Yeah, for I'm sure. still getting a check every week. And, and that's remember, what's important and at he, that time. At that time? Yeah. yeah. And I remember he, I'm walking, he tapped me on the shoulder. 
and he he says he said, he said I'm sorry, I because I, I was so scared I thought he was about to cut me, because Coach Rivera played in the league mm-hmm. and he was just like man I, I didn't I didn't mean to I know I said I didn't mean to scare they said but man you're doing a great job, Dang. you know what I'm saying and then I eventually start playing but that rookie year, yeah I didn't touch that field, yeah Mm-mm. I didn't even smell it, so look <laughs> I think <clears throat> out of all this bro I think you got the best. Losing the Super Bowl story though, <laughs> like on some. If you think about it, but it's just because of the connections you made doing. Like, just think about how lucky that is to play against people. Like, Roby know you. You don't drove his car. Right. Like, all uh, like to leave. Like to leave. Like to leave. I was getting to leave cleaners. Like I would get his dry. Yeah, cleaners. they remember you. Like I. Was, so like, who yeah. would you rather lose to than them? Nah, it, honestly, it was a. It was. It was perfect. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't you, ask you, for a better. You you probably rather lost than win, won. Honestly, because we they we wouldn't have party like them. <laughs> With Cam, yeah, Cam, Cam, Cam personnel Cam. like that. They ain't had on that team. I remember that. Oh, Cam, no, Cam, Cam, they had Olsen. They had a defense. Yeah, me, me and Luke, brother, me and Luke, brother, they don't, type. They don't. They they didn't have that personality like that to go out there and really turn up. Like oh, for real. Like you talk about to lead. I don't know Von Miller off the field. Well, I oh, know. They say I, Von Miller party. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Peyton. <laughs> yeah. Bro. You see what I'm saying? They didn't have it. That's how a nigga told me. He was like, bro, it's somebody you least expect. I was like, who I'm naming off? He was like, bro, Von Miller. That nigga, the funnest nigga to be around. I said, no where shit. the cowboy at? You know what else cool? You know what else cool as shit? Hmm. That I never, because uh, Peyton Manny. I ain't going for that, though. Nah. They get down, bro. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Hey, man, it is one of the most entertaining, funniest motherfuckers I've ever been in my, in my life. He drinking party and all that. I ain't say that. Oh. <laughs> well, shit. I, hey. I'm cause, 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 the other man to get down. Who, Eli? He get down. Los told me he went to an Eli Manning party he when he down. was at Ole Miss. He said, boy, them man is throwing a party. Down. That was, okay. So, so, it's the lineage. But he was talking about Eli. I ain't never think Peyton. Just, yeah. But I thought Payton probably supplied the money for Eli. But you just gotta put the phone in that basket. Oh, one of them. Them the part that I like. Amen. Nigga, if I don't have to give my phone away, like, man, I'm finna get the fuck up out of here, man. That shit ain't Yeah, bad, like, man, y'all, y'all keeping your phones? Yeah, shit ain't about to do Ain't nobody finna do nothing I don't crazy. Want this work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, through your career, like, you know, from football, even now, like, it's a like actor, comedian, influencer. Like who have you ever been starstruck yet? Uh, uh Nicole Murphy. For real? That was it. I wasn't expecting that, bro. Yeah, Nicole Murphy. I met her at the fight. But when I tell you, who? <laughs> like, I I fucked up too. What you, because you I was on that oil. <laughs> nah, that nah, oil. nah, nah. I was cool, but I was just like. Like I had her laughing, and I, I said, I said, I, uh, I said, I, I got to, you know what I'm saying? And I grabbed, bro, you just, man, she just, you grab, man. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. You grab, you, can't, you can't stop and complete sitting <laughs> what you do. Like, I'm saying, like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm taking a picture with her, but I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm I got big hands. Look, I'm, I'm holding that. I'm holding that back. Okay, man. Boy, I was, you had me on the Smile. edge of this goddamn mic just then, boy. And, 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 but, you know, a lot of some, you know, and I, I, I didn't realize I was kind of a little too, I'm not really like, I don't do that with, with like, I ain't yeah, gonna be yeah, all yeah, touchy yeah. because, yeah, yeah. but too you aggressive. just felt like I just, it, was it was in the just, moment. I, I, no, I ain't gonna say in the moment. You just felt like, yeah, like I, I, energy, it's energy. hard. Yeah, yeah, energy, energy. 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 It was the vibe, the vibe, the vibe. And she, and but she was. And you know I fucked up and said what? I I said I said I'm taking I said I've been waiting on this since I was a kid. Oh God damn, Lou. She probably like this look, so ass was, boy. That was she <laughs> said. Look, whole room she laughing. She laughing and get. She's like I, 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 I said I said I got to get in the coat. I'm you know she giggling. I said that shit. I've been waiting on this since I was a kid. And she said oh mm. damn <laughs> and tapped me like that. Yeah. But before then. She was she fucking with you. I had that back in my hand. Lionel can't say that. I had that back <laughs> in my hand. Lionel can't say that. But Nicole Murphy? Yeah. But when I tell you, she smells so good. Mm. Like, what kind of... Like, 
Just try to describe. Like, um, yeah, just try just to describe. Try to. Describe. Bro, not like, to get all in your business. Nah, 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 nah. Cause I and I and I posted it too. And there and and there, you know, I posted on like on this uh clip of it. And everybody like, man, you fucked up when you said I I know I fucked up. Yeah. But but how many of you niggas did that? Yeah. <laughs> you was in a position to fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. At least I got there. Yeah. But she smelled, man, I ain't never like she smelled so good. I take your word for that. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not even. I'm not even captain. Like I can tell you, you ain't, bro. Yeah. She, bro, like, I mean, that's a grown woman who take care of herself. Like you. So it wasn't like so much of a perfume. It's a natural. It's, it's the smell. mixture of everything. No, it wasn't that angel perfume on there. Yeah, I'll tell you that right now. That <laughs> shit. That shit was. I'm talking about. Ooh. <laughs> and, wow. and like, and she, having flashbacks, right? Yeah, now. yeah. That that that's when I, I was starstruck. Then. The same day, then, and then I met Alan Iverson that night. Oh, real? Man. Oh, AI real nigga ain't it? Bruh, his whole mob with, you know, AI nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga. His whole mob, man, Lou, what up, nigga? I'm, I'm like, what? Mm. Yeah. So they tell an AI in front of me. This is the guy I used to wear AI sleeves. At DMV? Because that's around that area. You, y'all well, not, that's not really DMV. Like, where they from? Bad News, Virginia, and, and, oh, okay. and Ham, that's more country. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. That's far. That's a little. So he ran there with Michael around. Vick. Him and Michael Vick. Yeah, the same okay, okay. Yeah, that's a little. That's a far ride. Mm. And they showing him a video right in front of me. We about to go into the fight. And he followed me on the spot. I've been checking it every week, make sure he don't unfollow me. Yeah, <laughs> he, he he still follow me though. Yeah, so that's my nigga. But man, I, I was so but that right there. I ain't. I just, I, I was like, nigga, let's take, like, we took the picture. I said, God, this is AI. Yeah. I used to have this, I'm talking about. That's hard. The, AI the, a legend, bro. What? Absolutely. That bro, was, yeah, those two right there. AI Atlanta legend, too. Like, if you go on Old National, they speak on AI like, they were like, man, they call, you know, Chuck used to be over here. Chuck will pull up on us anytime, yeah. type, that type of talk. Detroit legend, Philly legend. Anywhere he Anywhere go, Anywhere he go. He's I, know, I know he used to stay in the MGM in Detroit. It literally he, used to stay there. He really be was when I was playing in Carolina, I used to see him all the time in Charlotte. That's crazy. All the time. For real? Like rant it was weird. I was like, what the fuck are you doing out here? Yeah. <laughs> that is yeah, that I would Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. Like, he just be chilling. He just be chilling, like, you know, on uh, little uh little uh what you call them, the little brunch spots. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the, the, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, chilling. Chilling. Who you want to meet that you haven't met yet? Denzel. For real? Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. I guess, yeah. Them two, them two, them two is like, if 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 my dad wasn't my dad, I'd probably think they might have been my pops. I think my mom would probably gave him. Gave him. <laughs> you. Bro, I didn't like. <laughs> Lou, you got a well, well word and shit. <laughs> I'm letting it ride, bro. It's my dog. <laughs> I'm just saying to say if they went, I'm saying like you like you look up to him, but then to throw your mama in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my mama, my mama gave drop, drop. What um favorite Denzel movie and favorite um Jamie Foxx episode? Oof, I mean I was just having this conversation with my nana. Uh it don't matter what they play, and I'm watching it. For sure. Right. That's one. So if I had to give you one, probably American Gangster. For real? Just cause he just was he. I mean, that and train. Well, training day obviously, but American Gangster was just like, you know what I mean? He he just had that. He walk. embodied that moment. He, he really was Frank Lucas. Yeah. And Jamie Fox and and Ray. Uh, Jamie Fox at any given Sunday too. Mm-hmm. But Jamie mm-hmm. Fox and Ray. Favorite episode from Jamie Foxx show. It got to also, be that traffic also, court. Also, yeah. Jamie traffic Fox, court. Also, not that the D.O. with DMV. Mark Curry. Yeah. Oh, Mark Curry. Yeah. Mark Curry. Yeah. Travis School. But also, Jamie Foxx and Dream Girls, too. Mm-hmm. He was a fool in there. But the show, that one, and the, the episode where the uh, the girl from Elim- the white lady from a lemon color was dancing in the courtroom. The, the oh, hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. And then okay. He, he faked. Like and he, she played like she would hurt us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That episode. yeah. And he, he did the little, he impersonated OJ. <laughs> he was trying to put the gloves on. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, don't, that, that too. And when him and um, Braxton battled. 
Yeah. The dance battle. That, oh, that was a dance good. battle. That bro, was good. Uh, underrated Denzel movie that a lot of people don't talk about is Out of Time, bro. Out of Time. Ooh. With Not the girl? Out of Time. Yeah. Nah, nah, saving nah. the girl or something like that? Uh, okay. I know that's an underrated one. Yeah. But I, I'm going to give you, it's a scene, well, it's a couple scenes. A lot of people ain't never, have you ever seen Philadelphia? Yeah. With when him and uh, the, Tom Hanks? Yeah, courtroom shit. And when, and when uh, it's a lot of scenes, but. When the dude, it was the, the black dude who came and like was giving him some, the, dapped him up in uh-huh. the little pharmacy, and and he was like, "Man, appreciate you, brother." Like, yeah, yeah. And then he was like, "Nah, what you doing later?" <laughs> he said, "What the fuck you say?" <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 them, like that's what, like that's an underrated one. I also like, I fuck with John Q too. Oh, that's an easy one. But but see, just because just the, that that scene when. He talking to the doctor. He said, he's a good kid. Yeah. Man, and then when he do that fist pump with his son, oh, that, man. Sh- oh, that shit make me cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, yeah bro. that right there. Hurricane. Yeah. You ever seen Hurricane? Oh, Hurricane was what? good, bro. Niggas sleep on Hurricane, Hurricane was man. Good. The, 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 way, the way, he, the way he walked out of out of the jail in Hurricane uh-huh. with that hunch, with that hunch uh shoulder swole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hurricane yeah. was it slept on for sure. Yeah. 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 Man. Before you get out of here, bro, if you could give any kind of goddamn, you know what I mean? I guess positive mm. feedback to any training, you know what I mean? Any practice squad players or any players that's in training for football, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just to keep going type shit. Because if somebody would hear your story, that, that probably could be like, oh, damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To know you go through it. Because like I'm saying, you and Reggie, y'all could laugh and joke about it now, but at the time, like, Shit. Real. Yeah. Y'all wanted them checks. You know what I'm saying? That yeah, shit get man. scared. You saying yeah. when somebody walk up, you think you finna get cut type shit. Like, like just give them any kind of like positive affirmation or some shit. I think I Yeah, and the even the uh, players that are seniors or juniors now going into the draft, the mm-hmm. draft coming up this summer as well. So yeah. or if they get undrafted, like yeah. that ain't the end of the world. No, no, type like shit. I think I, and I think that's the misconception. And that's what I learned is that, you know, sometimes Going undrafted is better than getting drafted late. Mm-hmm. Why you, you go, say that? You go, cuz if you if you at watching the draft and them the I say the fifth to the seventh round, man, if you don't get picked in that round, don't get upset. They cutting them niggas too. Mm-hmm. They got the same chance. They just got a bigger got. signing bonus than you. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And nowadays. They 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 want you to kind of go undrafted. Just if 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 you one of their guys or, or preferred guy, I done seen dude get uh, get a hundred thousand as a as a signing bonus as a undrafted free agent. For real? Hey, seventy seventy thousand like that's you know what I'm saying like as as a undrafted free agent, you know a fifth the fifth and seventh round, only thing guaranteed is your signing bonus. So just cause somebody drafted like and they're in the first three rounds, obviously you can't fuck with them because they because they gonna get at least two to three years to 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 prove themselves yeah. and fuck mm-hmm. it off, you know. Mm-hmm. But man, if you you prove yourself, I would say I would say I would say go go in there. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. I would say go. I would say go in there with a with a. With a, I'm not like, they not finna get rid of me mentality. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that don't mean you gotta not uh, be cool with everything. No, like be be yourself. I think what, what I think one of my things I probably w- will regret is that because I was because as an undrafted guy I was so like on edge and trying Timid, to do everything, back, not really showing your personality. No, man, I was real, like a lot of people tell you I, I mean I was quiet as a mouse mm. because I didn't want to get cut. I ain't wanna yeah, piss nobody shit. off. Yeah. <laughs> but be yourself. Being mm-hmm. yourself is gonna help way. I'm telling you, don't be yourself. Because okay. then if you being yourself, shit, it's like you playing back home. Mm-hmm. When you when you kinda like second guessing, think overthinking shit because you don't know how they gonna think of this person, that's when you start fucking up. That makes sense. Definitely. Future projects you're working on. Or is there anything up uh, the pipeline that you can speak on. Pop got some podcast. Podcast work coming soon. Uh, in, independent movies. For sure. Uh, 
shit, we about to film right after this. Like we, I mean, this it don't stop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause um, you, 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 you got them push your content out. Yeah, man. Quick, I ain't, yeah. quick turnaround. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't play. So Super Bowl, like you know, you you probably see me at the Super Bowl, Pro Bowl, maybe All NBA All Star game. You know, pull up on me. So with NFL players, you got more of a relationship with NFL players than basketball players, huh? I don't really see nah. you in person ain't basketball players though. Magic Johnson. <laughs> that shit was so funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, let me see who. I, yeah, I, I, I guess Magic and uh, and uh, um. Oh, I I think I did. Uh, what's the, what's the nigga name? The um, light skinned bully. Uh, Dylan Brooks. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Braves. Brooks. I, I'm. I don't, I don't, I don't impersonate Draymond, but I mean, I but I do got a, a rapport with with a lot of uh, yeah, because you what guys. I'm saying because you had said you love basketball more though. Yeah, so nah, I, nah. You would rather go to a basketball game over a football game. Oh hell yeah, but For real? but I but oh yeah 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 yeah. Unless it's Super Bowl though. Super, but I ain't gonna lie. Um, uh, going to the games, um. And and like being in character in the stands and shit, mm -hmm. me acting like an oh your aunt man, yeah, that shit was is fun. Like really? going, being at the game like that, like we we shit we I I mean hey so look when y'all go <laughs> you stay the whole time in character. What you mean? Like when like you, when at, you the game, at the game, like y'all I'm saying you oh he ain't doing it for no quarter. Yeah no 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 oh yeah at the, you oh yeah no nah, I got the, the earpiece on and everything. Nigga. You ain't you ain't came to a session with him in it. You ain't been to the gym with him. Yeah, in he it. worked out that day though. You see, you ain't even paying attention. In character during the workouts, man. What? You yeah, yeah. I him might, and B. Lynn. I work. I work on my material sometimes. while I'm working out. God damn. I might. I be doing. I be like. I be saying little shit to him, and I see uh. his reaction. See, I think yeah. on that day, like you were doing some real training though. Probably. Yeah. Probably, but at the same time, he like, he's going to find that window of opportunity. To try this shit that y'all see uh, on, on the gram oh, or whatever, gotcha. uh -huh. and it'll it'll throw the entire session off. It'll throw the entire gym. But off. I'm saying if he doing like if you go into a game, I know you do slick want to enjoy the game a little bit out of. A look, okay. When I go to Colorado games, I'm not in character. Okay, I'm just myself, uh -huh. and I'm just I'm loose. You I'm might just, do Dion a little bit, but you or not even. I'm gonna do if I do that. It's probably I done did pregame after, after game pregame y'all win or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when I'm there, I'm I'm really enjoying the Spectate. game, and, and I'm I'm in my vibe, and, and folks be trying to have kind of, I'm like, damn, bro, get the fuck out. Yeah, but it's cool though, like it's cool. Uh -huh. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but chill out. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like damn, nigga, let's game going it. on. Yeah. Colorado versus Colorado State, one of the best games you ever seen live. You at that game? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Cause I know on TV it was one of the best games I. Yeah, that like, and the hype around it. They had college game day there. Yeah. So that so that whole day, I took that whole day and was in character early in the day. Mm. Shaq, yeah, Shaq was with me. Yeah, we uh, so Shaq said, "Hell yeah, I'm with you. I ain't going nowhere, nigga." Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey, we went. We went to college game day. I ain't never been to college game day ever. I ain't never had college game day pull up at a game when I played in college. I, I can't believe that. So, Oh, that's fucked up, man. No, I'm just saying that. I, they don't want to cover no triple, quadruple options. <laughs> but, so I was like, you know what? I'm pulling up as an unk. At the, and now, folks, now, only thing is, I be in character and then folks, be like, man, Lou, what up, what? And I'm like, but I, but I, I'm have I, I be balancing just oh, okay. I take the picture, boom, but I'm still kind of slick, still, still in character. Yeah, yeah. Got the Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So right, <laughs> you taking a picture with Uncle Charlie? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I got the yeah, it's like yeah. So, but I don't break character. I know it, like white, not the just white. put a race on it, yeah. but I know being in Colorado, like white people say, I know they look at you as like a man. That uh, demographic is that yeah. the right thing? Right. Yeah. That, <laughs> Don't ask me, ask him. I think, though. Right. That, I right. think. Right. I didn't know. And just shout out to fuck Coach Prime, man. For like, sure. Like I say, the dude making an impact on my life. Only other man that like a big, like an impact on my life is my father. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody said, I want to be like my, I want to be like my dad. Mm -hmm. But me and my dad, like, we fuck with Coach Prime. Yeah, like, or Dion, like, Prime time, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, him bringing me out there, like, or just embracing me and accepting me, D, that, that, 
it ain't too many of us out there. Mm-hmm. That's what I was. So doing. that demographic, I didn't know. Man, they, ooh, like I'm old, young. What? To the point where after the first game, a group of them pulled up on me. I didn't know. I, I at first I was like, <laughs> "What's we doing?" This ain't that. <laughs> but they they said they was like they was like, "Man, we, look, we want, we, man, let's." We want you to start pulling up at some of our events, man. We, 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 we're going to take care of you. Mm. I said, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. Say, say no less, more. Say less. You know, and that's just me. But that was, I'm not, see, people think I'm I'm getting paid to go to Colorado games or, or they pay, like, I'm, I'm, that's my dollar. Oh, I didn't I'm, know that. I'm buying, them, I'm buying them flights, them hotel rooms and shit. Now, the now ticket, the way now you the, at. Now the, now, the, now the tickets and all that. Yeah. Thank, appreciate you, coach. Yeah, you know that's some saying? shit you can't pay for that that type of connection. Nah, man, nah. And that's you showing love. Man, and yeah, look, and it's t- bringing attention to the team. It's all the it's, yeah. man. They watch that. That's that money gonna come back full circle. Absolutely. Though. And watch, watch, watch how I do it though. I, yeah, I put it yeah. like this: you make an investment. Absolutely. It's an investment. That's how I look at. It. That's how I be telling shit. Mm-hmm. I, it's a fucking investment. Mm-hmm. You gotta invest. I I gotta invest in yourself. Mm-hmm. How somebody else gonna invest in you if you don't invest in your goddamn self, nigga? So. <laughs> nigga, Shaq, like nigga, you ain't said like that. No, <laughs> nah, but no, nah, but like, um, uh, I do. I've done merch and stuff. Mm-hmm. This is just one example. I've done merch with different characters. But man, that you got to put that back foot down, dog. Yeah, At, out the roof. Put that back foot mm. down, dog. My daughter had a good Christmas. Hey, we go back to Colorado. <laughs> 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 but but like I say, I'm not. But it's coming back, mm-hmm. and it's it's expanding the demographic for me. So I did I didn't know, I did not sure. know. So yeah, I man. I just think I thank God for everything. Just that, that without Him, without God, and and really keeping my my shit in order, sure. none of this is possible. Say that, man. man. I I felt like it was a very entertaining, and informative. Episode, man, bro, I think your Super Bowl story the funniest story I've ever heard. Bro. I wasn't expecting that, bro. That's real talk, though. I, I believe it. Oh, no, you know, I, how, like, you know, how we put a little extra. No, I'm telling you some real shit, bro. The way you said you had to pretend you were mad and sad. When Cam, I tell you, man, and I'm and Cam and shout out to Cam because Cam is another guy that looked out for me first day in the What's locker up? room. Oh, okay. First day in the locker room, for real. Walked up on me. We didn't know we had the same agent. Mm. Mm. So your agent probably already no no. Oh no! I found out when he when I was at his crib like around Thanksgiving or something. Mm. So we just oh, we just shooting the shit and then I said I said you know chill chill I said that's my agent. He said what? And we called I our agent on the phone. So he was fucking with you off the strength. Off the strength. That's a good dude, bro. Can good people, bro. Ten, Cam Noon is ten toes down, off like the dead ass. He is solid dude. I, I I can't find nobody to say nothing different though. But when he walked in that locker room pissed off, you saw a different cam. And I and I and I had to act. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey boy. I'm like, Cause that that was Cam MVP, yeah. MVP, bro, he in the sewer That's bro. that's shortcut cam. Yeah. See, our people know the the bat, you know, you got the basket oh, yeah, yeah, thing yeah. and everything like that. <laughs> That that clean cut, that one even, Cam, Nigga. that whole one, one when he used to sell, hey. when he used to celebrate, hey. that even, that one Nigga, even. do you remember that? Uh, hey, look, wave game straight, yeah. uh, Nigga. Do you know what the even is? Yeah, it's it's damn <laughs> that no, ball. Yeah, that's how he pulling up. <sighs> when after he scored and he do that, oh, that was Cam. Hey, did he used to text you, Lou? Yeah. That boy say he make first down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lou. <laughs> and he kept dabbing on you. Like, hey, bro, that's my face. Hey, Lola, that nigga hit a first down slide. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all used Ooh. to be hype on the bench, Lou. What? Cause that was that year. Y'all went fifteen and one. Only lost to the Falcons. Remember the uh ran off on the plug. Oh, yeah. Theme song that year. Me and his brother, his younger brother, 
that's my dog, Moneyball. Mm-hmm. Boy, that was a hell of a year. That's how my daughter got here. Wait, what? <laughs> Amazing year. You have a way to bring it shit. <laughs> hey, I, hey. Shout out to Lala. Daddy love you. But if it wasn't for the Super Bowl year, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be honest with the kids at times. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I be seeing how Cam write on Instagram. Have you, like, do y'all... Well, he be like, texting He like texts that like shit, that too? Man. I was hoping you were going to tell <laughs> bro, me that, bro. Bro, what the fuck? I say, I say, I call him. He said, I text... No, you didn't text me. You hieroglyph me. Nigga, <laughs> 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 you sent me an algebra problem. Yeah, the nigga. fuck is we talking about? Like... Exclamation plus, plus one, two, carry the one. What up, brother? Question mark. And, and the and the A is a is a act. You know? For no reason. Why are we doing this, Cam? You know? You gotta have a different but, phone. But it's all good though. <laughs> he, got, he gotta have a different phone. He, is that what it no, is? No, but it's a no, oh, but it's actually kick. a font. Wow. Oh, it's a font. It's a font. Oh, he, he types it. it. Oh, he type it regular. Hell no, nah, he ain't. Oh, I was gonna say he got so much time. Oh man, man. <laughs> he's not doing that shit. Like he types it. He doesn't. Yeah. I, I, hey, where they can find you at, Lou? Uh, what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm talking about your social media handles, bro. Oh, oh I thought you know, talking about tonight. <laughs> shit, we, <laughs> Damn. Nah, nah. Um, social media, Lou at Lou Young. Uh, L O is three U's. Young. That's uh, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Lou Young, the uh, the third on uh, YouTube and um, Facebook. Um, yeah, man, I'm, we we this shit just getting started. Like we For sure. and and I tell everybody like everybody be like, man, how like how like how do you go about? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Mm. But that bit, that bit, that's the best time. I'm just walking in when my When you purpose. freestyle. Yeah, yeah. This shit off, what we say, Zach, this shit off the heat. Straight up. Like, yeah. it, it really is. But I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I I tell, I was telling the story. I said, when I was doing that Sleeve Harvey shit, right, whatever, I don't go to comedy shows. I watch, like, specials. Mm -hmm. but I ain't, I don't think I've, I, only live comedy show I've been to is, it was a Cat Williams show, if you, like, before I started doing this stuff, mm -hmm. and yours, it, 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 it was it, I think you just pulled up mm -hmm. at the spot. You I know you're talking about. Who's that uptown? Yeah, you was just working on some yeah. shit. I never, you was working on some shit, and I was like, this my, I was like, what the? He, he I mean, when I tell you, every, I'm talking about everybody that went before. I mean, it, they was working on that comic view special. Right. He just was out there just just working on some shit, and just murky. And I and then after the show and he pulled up on me, I said, "Damn!" And that like that's and you was like, "Man, well, they keep doing that shit." And I said, "Okay, you know, some these folks seeing this, right. yeah, for sure, hell yeah." So, bro, and, and not to cut you out, that what niggas, what niggas are act like they don't know who niggas is and try to hey stop doing that lame ass shit because niggas be like, "Oh, that's it." No, man, if you see somebody and you like, man, show them love, so bro. That be what some people need. Like you, you needed that interaction. You needed that early that, on that, that, that yes. uh, uh, assurance. You know what I mean? Yeah. That propelled you to do whatever you're doing right now. Literally, like it's it's been moments like that of just you know words of affirmation, mm -hmm. so to speak. To know you on the right man. track and shit. Yeah, but nah, thing. that was like seeing because you know like how Atlanta is anyway. Everybody feel like they this and like that until they not that. And I saw that shit uh, not too long ago. Uh, I'm at the T.I. Symphony, and a nigga who I thought was having pool, he was like, you finna go? I was like, yeah, I finna go. He was like, damn. I thought I could. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, man, back your ass up, boy. Nah, I'll see, I'll <laughs> look, you later, bro. Yeah. Of, hey. Yeah, because then you will see, because when they be having their time, a the movers and shakers, there's a lot of Kevin going on. A lot on of Captain Morgan out here. Yeah. You know, like and you being from D.C., you, boy. The city is smoking mirrors. You will be thinking, I, man, I got to tell this story. I know we've been supposed to rap, though. Bruh, my, he wasn't my buddy, but at the time, he was my buddy. The nigga got in a, uh, he got in a car accident. Oh, damn. Nah, he, he, oh, nigga, this changed his life. <laughs> I'm telling you, he good. An uh, army truck, one of them Humvees ran him off the road. Shit. Oh, nigga. 
he got paid. He got paid. Oh. So look, a couple months, the money come in. Yeah. So I'm like, bro, I seen how he spent it. Because at first, you know, man, I'm like, I know how the city is. I'm like, bro, slow your ass down. Because it's on Monday through Friday. This before the pandemic. Right. This when you nigga could go out, go to the gold room, all that shit. So he going out getting a section every time. Like, bro, you ain't got to do that. You going to run through this shit. He was like, nah, nah, this shit forever. You know how nigga, <laughs> you know how nigga was feeling when that PPP money was. You, you see some niggas ain't ate a lamb chop shit. So then nigga, <laughs> so look, he got there doing all this loot ball. So I'm telling him like, bro, slow down with the shit. So uh, I never forget at Gold Room they had the nigga Obi who be promoting it. When you get a bottle, he count the bottles. One bottle, two bottle. Every time he get none less than six. God. So. Over text that nigga, he was like, it's my birthday, I really want you to come celebrate with me. I'm like, bro, that's the game. He know you gonna spend money. He was like, nah, nah, he fuck with me, he fuck with me. I'm like, all right. He was like, you coming for sure. I'm gonna come. Right. But I'm trying to tell you what they doing. Long story short, that was the best six months of my life hanging with that <laughs> nigga. That nigga, I seen the nigga in Houston look like a total different nigga not too long ago, bro. Oh, man. Oh, man, he fucked up. Oh. Obi probably don't even remember the nigga. Yeah. Nigga get they get caught up in that shit. Shit. That's the same hey. game with the league shit. Nigga, yeah, that's why I know. Y'all can relate league. to niggas. But this, this, is a, this is what I live by. Like, you never want to leave a place worse than how you found it. You want to leave it better than how you found it. Facts. Because you never know when you're gonna have to come back in there and walk and walk in there and you don't want, you know, you you rub people the wrong way or you, you know, when you up, you, you niggas, the elevator go up and down. Mm. I'm preaching in here. <laughs> Put that back foot down, dog. You know what I'm saying? But it do like it's it, this shit. This shit a roller coaster, man. For sure. This shit just don't go there all day. No. Nah. Boy, you feel me? Especially you knowing with how this entertainment business man, is. Boy, I know. I know this entertainment business now. I know uh, professional sport business. Mm -hmm. Everything cutthroat. Valleys and peaks, boy. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, you know. Hey man, don't block your blessing trying to be out here, you know, flexing. You Ooh. Bar. Oh, bars, bars, right there. bars. <laughs> and that shit run. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah. Hey dog. <laughs> what you thought about the Cat Williams uh interview? I know you did your impersonation. Oh no, what, but what, what you think of what you thought about? I'm a big cat. I'm a, uh, Cat Williams probably like one of my like Favorite growing comedian. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, the fact that he don't do that many interviews, I was so geeked to see what he would say. Bro, I watched that shit twice. I'm and, on not my third that round. I, and not that I don't got shit to do. That shit just was. Bro, I'm watching it in the car, like, you know yes. what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Like, I just feel like, man, I, I think I think in the climate we in, we needed this. Absolutely. Really? Yeah, man. Absolutely. I think we needed that. Like, and you know, I be telling, I be. I always talk, we all, me and Shaq, we, we always talk about how words is powerful. The nigga said in the interview, he said, oh, this interview, oh, because Shannon Shaw was like, you know, okay, you going to get me canceled. Like, you know, you, you I don't know how I'm going to put this. He said, no, 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 you're going to be all right. He said, this is going to take your shit to a whole nother level. And what he do? He said, Oprah going to be one to come in. 30, you, this is your highest viewed episode ever. 37 that million. Too. He said that in the interview. Yeah. Hey, man. When you got it, they can't take that away. No, they can say they can say a lot. They can say a lot about it, but they can't take it away. Definitely mm -hmm. need it. This is uh, Black History. We need to take more advantage of situations like that. Come out with truth, using this platform, other platforms. Because again, a lot of these stories don't get told. It's a lot of stories from way back when that probably ain't get told. We don't know what happened to Wesley Snipes. We don't know what happened to other guys that came before us and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So. We don't know who else been ripping they don't somebody wanna up, off. You feel they don't want to upset nobody. You feel me? No, no. You don't want to make such and such. Man, fuck them. And they couple, done stole my money. A couple people mad simply because he told the truth, which but, is the sad part. But, I, I, you know, I don't really feel like it was like, I feel like some, you know, sometimes celebrities, whatever, they might get on these, you know, big podcast, like like a broken player in, in, in 85 and all, and maybe get chatty without really... Nobody, nobody, like nobody said nothing about why you so chatty. Mm -hmm. This man, I wouldn't even call it chatty because I just felt like he was, you know, he 
He was responding to yeah, the some strike. folks that yeah, was been talking that, about him. I done let y'all do this for months and months right. now. Oh, years. I'm on this thing. Couch. I'm going to speak my truth. So, but right. the only thing with Cat, and I will say that, I know he wasn't chasing clout by doing the interview, but that nigga, want, he came there for that specific reason. Yeah. Cause that nigga Shannon Sharp said, "What's going on?" And that nigga started talking. Bro, it went three minutes in. I said, "God, it went damn!" Three minutes in. So it ain't like you gotta. You know how usually you gotta man yeah. fast forward to such and such right. to look mm-hmm. in the interview. No, nah, nah, nah. nigga, press play exactly and sit back. Cat finna go to work. So man, goddamn Lou, you you feel free to pull up anytime. You yeah. go to all the sports shows, but nigga, you could come here and really. I talk. ain't never really been to. I don't think what well, sports shows. Nigga, shut the hell up. You been to cams? You don't just did. You just did Ryan Clark. Oh, Ryan Clark and oh. Pivot. The pivot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't, you know, I'm be knowing the name. I'm athlete. Make your rounds. Bro. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, you do right. the circuit, bro. But see, I, I I would say like this. I appreciate y'all. I, I, you know, I appreciate y'all because like. When I okay, when I first did I am athlete, it was more like you know cause I was impersonating the, everybody, so it was mm-hmm. more. Oh yeah, they, I, it was, they the, brought me on, and I and shout out to I am athlete because they that that's when I really started learning everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It, uh, until Miss Alicia, uh, behind the scene, like she the goat, and I just they used to keep me around. I used to be she studying black, her. black woman, white lady with a black soul. Black soul. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the one you were talking. about. No, no, about. It's, it's, these are two. Oh, God damn. Yeah, man. Yeah. No white women love you with black soul, boy. <laughs> I don't know what you... <laughs> no, what I'm saying is... What I'm saying is, man, like, I, I just... I'm a sponge, bro. Like, uh-huh. especially when I see somebody who just got a certain type of work ethic, mm. I'm a, I might not even say much to you, but you best believe I'm watching you. Right. I'm picking up game. Uh-huh. And, and she would just... You know what I'm saying? So... They kind of had me on there, and they would bring me around. I, I, you know, not that like I was. It was like they was like the vets, and I was the rookie. And they were like, yeah, you know, do your talent show. Mm. But they was, they was showing me love. But at the same time, she would be like in my ear, like, how you, how you, how do you plan to like really, you know, expand this? Like, mm. you know what I mean? What's the big plan? What's the, you know what I mean? And and, and I and I and I appreciated her for that. So, and I appreciate this platform because y'all, you know, you let me. Tell, Girl, tell my story. And then I think right with you right now, you got the you got a good group of people around yeah. you too, though. That that done seen people before you. They see it, you know, at different levels and to see where, you know what I mean? Yeah. They ain't they ain't finna bullshit you. They gonna yeah. get you right. No, I mean, then like I said, and I'm blessed with Steve Harvey management, because like I say, Chriselle, like, you know, I mean, she woke me up, BD, like they 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 been around like Dom. They, I did shit when I ooh, Don, when I was doing the sleeve hobby stuff. Mm-hmm. Don would film, pull up at. I was at my uh, me and my pops was was sharing a condo. You know what I mean? Pulling up. Then when pops was single though, when? No, 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 no. He was. He, oh no, he wasn't married yet. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was a wild boy. <laughs> <laughs> Go speak to Pops. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> nah, I was just saying, bro. I think like even um, a person like Dom though, and like the the group that they like that. I don't want to never be like you know people who be on camera, but it be people behind camera be so creative, like to the point where it like. Oh, this dude football, my dog football. Like uh-huh. he this. I, I, put I, the camera. I have been, put, I have been telling, oh, you don't want to be on camera? I have been, <laughs> I have been telling uh, BD, I said, I said, man, was it last year? Mm-hmm. Shaq had kept calling. He said, Lou, you got to, you just got to see what they want to talk to you about. I was like, all right. So I did something for him. He was filming um, routes on, it was it routes on air? Routes, and he was talking about something we just just talking just it was like a episode of running routes and just like a one on one and later that day I went he took me to the him and his boys house and they showed me the the YouTube numbers mm. and how you can really eat up and that's Shaq said Lou you just got to see it mm-hmm. I ain't leave I tell B that's I met that white boy and he changed my life <laughs> it was a uh 2022 was it 2022? Uh, yeah. 
I ain't leaving. Oh, he know the exact yeah. date. Nigga, I know when I changed like June 17th. <laughs> I had 29 <laughs> subscribers on YouTube. Uh-huh. Almost got 240, 240-something subscribers now. Thousand. Thousand. I met, I met that white boy. You flex different, bro. I met, I'm, no, no, listen. No. See. Because <laughs> when you real. said the 3.5 earlier, you were like 3,500. But then when it's a flex, it's like 247. <laughs> <laughs> but look. I I and he showed me them numbers, mm-hmm. and it like it just my mind would I, see. I got to see it for sure. I got to see what you're talking about. But it took a person like Shaq, like that's you know what I'm saying. It, it the people around like, you, that's what you, you say. can't do it all. So it like Shaq, even for you, like okay, I'm I'm going on your word. I ain't leave their house till four in the morning. Damn, I knew they look. I, I remember look, they looking at me like, boy, your boy still here. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. He got, keep talking. I wasn't even writing stuff down. I was mentioning, man. I ain't looked back since. So, sure. look at you, bro. Ball, you got anything to say to your boy? Y'all proud good. of you, bro. Yeah, for sure. I'm proud man. of you. This is my I, mentor. I, this is like my mentor right here, though. And I, I don't say that enough, but because you know, some people get that instant success, and they they get that uh uh, I guess that fifteen minutes. Or something like that. This boy done got 15 minutes or he done got a spotlight put on him time after time after time. That shit over and all you doing, bro, is just working your ass off. So before anything, uh, shit, I just want to tell you I'm proud of you. And I ain't going to tell you that shit enough. Dead ass. Man, he going to cry, ball. He going to cry, ball. That nigga going to cry, <laughs> ball. <laughs> really, real. Like, Can't wait to get on that set with you. So as soon as you get on that, you know. It Bring your train me, with it, you. it really make me emotional. <laughs> Shut up, bro. <laughs> I ain't I ain't never heard you talk like that. <laughs> no, you haven't. I'm usually barking out orders. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, thank y'all for tuning in to Broken Play. Hey, we got man. my dog Leon in the building, man. Make sure y'all check him out and look out for him, man. Until next time on Broken <laughs> Play. <laughs>